Reply number 4 to Sun Tzu, aka, Jeff Doherty by Anna Von writes. The reason that you sign over the federal account represented by your name to the fiduciary responsibility of the Secretary of the Treasury is just common sense. It makes Mnuchin and his successors legally responsible for administering that federal account, not you, and severs you from any possible accusation of wrongdoing associated with that account. So when any charges are brought against that account, criminal or civil, in any state of state or federal court, what do you do? You stand outside the bar, the railing separating the court from the gallery of onlookers. You are serving as a witness in the matter, not a defendant. You show up, you say, I, a man possessing the name John Allen Brown, am visiting this court today as a lawful person and placing everything I say and present as evidence by, for, and on the public record of this court as a third party informing the court that a mistake has been corrected and that the defendant account has been assigned to the Secretary of the Treasury and any claims or charges against this defendant must be addressed to Secretary Mnuchin. I also testify for the record and from without the United States that I have not knowingly made any such claim or charges and have not authorized the prosecutor to make any. If there is evidence otherwise let it come forward and let this copy of Federal Form 56 dated, blank, be entered into the public record. You, an American standing on the land and soil of your State of the Union shouldn't even have a federal account, but one has been, conferred, upon you. Sending it back to the Federales and making them responsible for IT is the only safe and honest thing you can do. It's not yours to deal with. When they conferred it, they made you the de facto donor and unpaid administrator of your own estate, while they took over as the beneficiaries and trustees of your estate. If they fail to administer it properly after you assign it to Mnuchin, it's the Treasury's liability. By assigning it to Mnuchin you shed that unpaid duty as administrator and any beneficial interest there may be in that account is still yours to claim as the presumed donor. If the state of state courts bring charges against that account, it's their liability, and they have to bring those charges to Secretary of the Treasury, not to you. If their state of state franchise brings charges against that account they have to charge their parent company directly, not you. Guess how long it takes for the TSTHTF after the states of states start charging DC instead of you? By turning in that Form 56, you are shuffling off an unpaid administrative duty and liability, placing a bar in the way of these carpetbagger courts preventing them from coming after you and your assets, and you are establishing further credibility for your claim that you are in fact an American and not a US citizen. And now that you aren't volunteering anymore to act as an unpaid administrator of your own estate, you can press your claim as the presumed donor of your own estate to receive it back. Safely. Properly. With no threats from your employees. So, Mr. Doherty, hiding behind your pen name, so much for your nasty false claims and wrong assumptions. But what could I expect from someone promoting Nasara as any kind of likely resolution to this mess, more than three decades after the US Supreme Court agreed that we were right, but that the parties responsible were insolvent? You weren't there. I was. And so far as I know, and as far as the public record shows, there is absolutely no motion toward the enactment of Nasara and hasn't been for 20 or more years. I would be extremely pleased if Nasara was adopted, but, unless you can prove otherwise, that's like expecting Scrooge McDuck to voluntarily part with his gold. It's time to face facts and change your masthead. And your attitude. And your assumptions. Please hit subscribe, like, share, embed, and get ready for many more Anna Von Wright's article videos.